Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Stanley's computer. What are we looking at here? These are all the nature paintings. Okay, so that's Stanley's office. The office layout. The blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout development. The core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Okay, that's kind of cool. The corridor. The pacing of the opening section was important to get right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make sure that the player reaches the two doors in a good time. The two doors. A set of two doors was the very first concrete piece of Stanley Parable designed. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it. An exploration of the contradiction this room posed. Filing cabinets, which don't do anything. Office computers, which... Oh, that guy's playing solitaire. Okay. What's this over here? Is this just a... just the layout? The office? I guess this is... Whoa. That coffee stands upside down. You guys put the coffee upside down. I'm calling it. That stain's supposed to be... Like the whole model is supposed to be turned upside down and that stain's supposed to be on whatever surface it touches. The office? Can't open those doors. Can't open those doors. Anything behind? Oh. I'm opening doors. I'm breaking the game. Button sounds. The selection of sound throughout the game when buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of keyboard strokes and synthesized tones. I haven't heard that sound before. Okay. Oh, look at the credits. Model design, original music, credits. Written and designed by Davey and William. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Will. There's here's everybody else. There's a name. So, can we go to the right here? What's this? The boss's office. Ooh. I guess that was like first iteration. Third iteration. Uh huh. I wonder if you can get that appear to appear in different ones. The clock. What's off to the other side? Can can I go this direction first? I wish there was a way to run. <laughs> the office. Some plants. 431 through 436. The maintenance room. The maintenance room? Huh. Okay. Okay, I'm digging this. All right. The bottom of the the mind control facility. Fun, fun, fun. Is that the the briefing room? Dollar bills, y'all. I'm looking for clues. Oh, hello. War zone. Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up in the battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become sentient and the war and would wage war against the narrator we realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey on the nose for the tone of the game plus some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters which was not our intent good good job taking that out alien base wow This is really cool. That's the lounge. The office. Um, 
narrator emails. Uh, okay. After the second trailer, we sent out. Uh, we sent out. We asked people to email the narrator for questions. While we had initially planned to use these further promotional materials, we never found the perfect use for them. Here are a selection of those emails. Uh, how is the game going? I hope it's good or better than the first one from a cool man. Thanks, James. Are you a rock? <laughs> okay. Could have just sent out a tweet and gotten all this stuff back. All right, can I? Yeah, there we go. Anthony, can you tell me what the significance of the number 1112800 is? 1112800. Well, the thing I want to know is what would you do if Stanley entered the any other rooms? Lance Perkins, uh, I have a burning question. For instance, on scale, Max Ernst to so Dally. What will the game be? Dang it! Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna stand, sit here and like read all the emails. We're just gonna we're gonna carry on. <laughs> carry on now, we would song. From left to right is the evolution of Stanley's office over time. The first created in November 2011, the second March 2020, uh, 2012, and the third in February of 2013. So that was the first one, and the second one, and then finally. That's the third one. That's it. Employee 427. 427. 427 buttons. Hmm. Game design mock-up. This is the level that William, the level designer, sent Davey, the writer, as kind of an audition piece. I like it. Uh, the strength of the level got William hired to design the full game. Though much of the environment has changed, the basic layout of this mock-up is still in the game. What is this? Monitor room elevator. For, uh, for a time, the elevator in the monitoring room could go up and down the, with freedom above the count down below. Freedom above, count down below. We abandoned this when the players found it too difficult to remember what was up and what was down. We placed the two endings together instead. Nice. Countdown room. Nice. An early version of the countdown room. Stanley Parable on off. I think that's the end of the tour, so the freedom ending. This is freedom ending as it existed in beta. Nice. The countdown desk. One of the desks in early versions of the countdown ending. Did I hear you beep beep? I guess I can't touch anything, so. Oh, what's this? What's this? The game is now paused. Begin the game again. Escape menu. For a long time, the ending only... Uh... We had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few players realized that this is what they were supposed to do, which was frustrating for everyone. Wait, what? Resume the game, return to menu. The game is now paused. The escape menu? Hmm. What is this? Uh, Zending, Zending model went through many iterations. The room represents the fourth version of the ending, and we thought it was complete, but decided to abandon it and change shortly after, shortly before launch. Blue, green, red. No, just just green and red, isn't it? I don't know what that means. Okay. Zending. This screenshot depicts an early version of the ending known as the Zending, uh, which was eventually cut and merged with another part of the game. Zending levels. These levels were originally 
part of the Zending, the player would pull a lever and the narrator, narrator would describe what color they had pulled. Well, we can't do it now, I guess. So, I like this ending. This is kind of cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, that does say exit on it. So, let's we'll see if there's anything we missed. Freedom ending. This is the very first incantation, incarnation of the freedom ending uh, in the game's alpha. All right, we've already seen boss's office and the clock. All that good stuff. What's this stuff over here? The lounge. Underground, an early version of the underground. Then he pushed them up right. Narrator outtakes Kevin. Stanley stood on the snow. Uh, narrator recorded dialogue for the entire game roughly three separate times over the two years of development. These clips are early takes that were not then, used in the film. This elevator for sure would get him right back on track to where he was supposed to be in the story. What is going on outside? Hold on, can I get through there? Now look closely, Green door. See how it's impossible for the player to do anything in this room. Perfect example of poor level design. They're throwing a surprise party for It's the kind of thing you pick up on intuitively. Does that sound plausible to you? fundamental understanding of good and bad game design. But of course, you being you, you'll probably spend the next hour trying to solve it. I don't know. Here, well, I'm just going to make this easy on you. you. You win. Congratulations. You did it. I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. I don't know. Stanley, where are you right now? Where, where am I? I'm, I'm trying to figure out, but I, I can't... Stanley, who am I? Can you speak to me? Please talk. Have we done this before? Have we been in this room before? How many times have we done this? How many times have I said these exact words? Say something. Anything. Help me, Stanley. I don't know who I... What I... Stanley. Stan, Stan, help. Don't. And finally, he pushed the number nine. Okay, that's a scary room. When Stanley came to the lift... He traveled upward to the power source. If I start walking around, does it just start a whole bunch of them? Forever. Now then, this elevator for sure will get him right back on track to where he was supposed to be in the storm. Okay, I'm leaving this room. Now look closely, Stan. It, no. See how it's impossible for the player to do anything in this <laughs> That's scary. That, that, that's a little, I'm a little freaked out at that one. Okay, so we've been, been there, done that. Oh, we're at the beginning again. Okay, so we've seen all the credits. We need to go to the exit, I guess. So, what a cool ending. Is this the escape ending? Here we go. Okay. We're done. We can go. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can I just walk back out? Just wondering. I mean, I'm already like at 45 minutes, so I'm fine if we go a little bit longer. Uh, by the way, I am not playing um, Township Tale tonight. I am way too tired. And I mean, I, I know that I look like I've got a lot of energy, but it's been a long day. All right, here we go. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save those two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let... <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I almost feel like we should do that one more time. The phone again. Hello. This is a recorded 
private message scheduled either by you or person in your place of work. The purpose of this message is to warn you about the dangers of recorded messages. If at any time you believe you are listening to a recorded message, please terminate it immediately and cease all flow of information from the recorded message into your perceptual sphere. Thank you, and have a pleasant day. <laughs> Okay, fine. Uh, should we do the escape again? Let's let's do it. But this time, let's hit escape before we end it. Stepping into his right. manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Uh -oh. What could it mean, he wondered. Desperate for answers, he began turning the room over looking for clues that might unravel the situation. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> that kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. What? I don't want to listen to calming new age music. I want to get through the game. I've got fans who need to... Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly <laughs> walked forward into the opened passageway. <coughs> I did not expect that. I'm glad I was recording right then. Alright, let's go. Let's go again. Let's go. Let's go. Alright. Stanley walked straight By ahead the through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written escape. on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had I every opportunity would, like, to turn, turn around now. and get back on track. It would actually give me a different ending. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Uh, I also saw that there's a console of some kind on this game. So like you can enter cheat codes and stuff like that. I don't know if it's true for like the original, but... Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Do the ending. Alright, hold on. Alright, here we go, here we go. And then the second narrator. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, yes, as Stanley yes. was led we helplessly we in. Yeah, yeah, okay. It, it talks forever. But, I mean, and yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would the, restart the, the game back in his office as alive as ever. See, I think what that exactly right there. What did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? I think that right there was actually when like some kind of... every path you can walk has been created for you okay. long in advance. Okay, so every path was predetermined and death was inevitable anyway. Because Stanley was already dead or something like that. Yeah. Anyhow. <laughs> oh, look at these two. Yes, How yes, look at us. How they wish to destroy look one another. Look at us How go. they wish to control one another. Let's go. How they both wish to be free. Click. Okay, so she can tells see? me... Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Okay. Let's go. Tell me to but escape. Listen to me. You can still save those two. You can stop the program before or they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now, and it'll be your only true choice. Okay, you I'm gonna do, try. Choose it. Don't Escape, and I'm actually going to quit the game. Let's see, did I get an achievement for that? Quit to desktop. I'm just gonna see... Did I Did I get an achievement? Huh? Was, was that some kind of achievement there? I don't know. I gotta go uh, check my actual thing here. Let's see. The Stanley Parable. The Elder Scrolls. Elden Ring. The Stanley Parable Deluxe. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go to desktop, desktop, display one. Cut. Oh no, uh, there's no um, Logitech cam. Why, why is there no Logitech camera? Where is it? Oh wait. That's not... Okay, hold on. Hold on. Um, maybe I did that wrong. Display Logitech Cam. Oh, there it is. Boop. Hey. Hey, so now we can see. 
You can't jump. No, seriously. We disabled it. Um, beat the game. Get your first achievement. Welcome back. Quit the game and start it again. 4.30. Click on the door 4.35 times. 8888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888
If I got it in four minutes and 22 seconds. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes, it's over. Is this kind of load time? Yes. There we go. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere on, moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? Come on. What other <laughs> mysteries did this strange building hold? But uh. as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. Come for on. it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No, my goal is no four minutes and 22 would seconds. Tell him where to go, what to do, oh. or how to feel. Why is it taking Whatever so Whatever life he lives, it will be <sighs> his. And that was all he needed to know. Let's go. It was perhaps let's go. the only thing worth let's go. let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Stanley stepped through the open let's door. Go. There we go. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of Come liberation. On. Tell me I got the achievement. The Please. The possibility of the new Please. path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were it? meant to happen. And Stanley I don't think I got it. was happy. Did I get it? I don't even know if I got it or not. How do I tell? How do I get, did I get the achievement or not? Did I get the achievement? I can't tell if I got the achievement or not. Hold on. Let's click off of it, click back into it. No, I didn't get it. Huh. Hold on. Can I do this again? All of his co-workers were gone. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Yes. Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Okay. Hmm. 20. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction <laughs> of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. <laughs> okay. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly oh. 50 clicks. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true <laughs> reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? 417. 417? Where's 417? That's 420. Nice. Four, one, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ooh, great! Now go click a few times on door four three seven. Four three seven. Four three seven. I've got to go up. So four thirty seven. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. 415. 415. 415. 415. Now, back to door number 437. Okay, on the way. I'm, on, I'm going. I'm going. Wait, was that 437? No, 437. 437. 437, 437, that's the first door, I think. Let's see, how about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine. All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. <laughs> 417, okay. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. Okay, where's 419? 419, 419. Where's 419? Oh gosh. 
Okay, how do I how do I climb on your desk? Yes! This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. <laughs> okay. Where's 416? We've almost got it! Now the copy machine, do that one again! <laughs> oh, back to the copy machine. And... Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door 430! Four, four, yes! We did, we did it! it. <laughs> oh, wow. That felt amazing. <laughs> oh, you really earned it, Stanley. <laughs> Nothing can hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. <laughs> Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? What do you think? Think that was a good one to end it on? I, th I think so. I think a full hour and two seconds, a full hour and two minutes of uh, of Stanley Parable to kind of make up because I didn't release one yesterday and because I'm not doing Township Tell. I think that's great. Uh, quick reminder: don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Buy the book. Uh, it's coming out the 22nd. Love you guys very much. Oh my gosh, that was that was a long video, very long video. I feel I feel like the ending. Needs to be special, like a, a big, big outro. That's that's how I'm feeling. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Hold on, I need to switch to actual gameplay and not my display. So here we go. Three, two, one. <sighs> outro.